We'll scan original art pieces, uh, watercolors, uh, oil paintings. Each day in the office for Scott Ward. You do have to do a little adjusting. Involves a one-of-a-kind creation. Every printer prints a little different. Sometimes several. A lot of times what we do is reproduce the art. An artist in his own right, who until now there we go. thought he'd seen it all. It's not our normal everyday routine. He works just a few miles away from the state capitol in Nashville, where lawmakers debate new legislation year in and year out. But never did he think he'd get this close to the founding principles on which our state government is based. The original version of the Tennessee Constitution now in his hands. That's exciting, you know, it's, it's an honor to be chosen to do something like that. So I was just going to open it up like a spread. Scott's job is to carefully reproduce each aging, fragile page. At first it was 1796 and then they redid the Constitution in 1834 and then uh, the last one, the one that we're operating under now, was um, promulgated in 1870. The scanner is doing a pre-scan that will run under the light so I can mark off the exact area. Centuries old pieces of the past. On this section, 33 abolishes slavery. And starting this week are making history yet again. It is the first. In fact, many. this is the first time many of these have been available to the public. Because once safely preserved through Scott's scanner, the documents can head to their new home, a museum inside the Tennessee Supreme Court building. We've always had them in cold storage in a locked vault. Finally on display for all to see. I think in order for us to be good citizens, we have to know where we came from in order to know where we're going.